Hello and welcome back. I'd like to provide you with another challenge, another assignment. Um, this assignment's going to deal with multi-dimensional arrays. Get a little more familiar with them, mainly a 2D array, uh, as it is something that you should understand. So in this challenge, you're going to create a C program that uses a two-dimensional array and a weather program. This program will find the total rainfall for each year, the average yearly rainfall, and the average rainfall for each month. So those three things are going to be output. The input is going to be a two-dimensional array with hard-coded values for rainfall amounts for the past five years. So what this means is you should create a 2D array that has five rows and 12 columns. The rows are going to represent uh, the past five years, and then the columns are going to represent the months. So how much rain you got in January, February, March, April for each year. And the rainfall amounts should be floating point numbers. So because you often get, you know, 7.8 inches for a rain for a month, they're going to need to be floating points. So you should, when you create this two-dimensional array, make sure that it's a float. The output for the program is going to look something like this. Here I just kind of formatted it a certain way, but uh, what you should first display as output is everything that's in the 2D array. So you should have a, just a simple loop that goes through the 2D array, displays the year for the array, and the year is just going to be whether it's the first row, the second row, the third row. You can just create an integer and increment it. And then the rainfall is going to uh, be all of the rainfall for all of the months. So you have to add them as you go. So what you should first do is you should actually have a for loop and an inner for loop and go through it to calculate the total rain for each year and then have a loop to print it out. And also in that first loop, or actually you probably want to create a second loop with an inner loop that goes through all of the months for each year and calculates um, the monthly averages. So again, the way that I envision the design for this program is 2D array, floating point numbers. You're going to need to initialize it with all hard-coded data. You're then going to have, basically, you're going to have a first loop, which is going to go through, and it's going to calculate the totals for the entire year. And then, uh, then it's easy to get the yearly average because you just take the totals and divide it by the number of years, which is five. So the yearly average, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, calculate in a loop, but you will need to calculate the total rainfalls for each year in a loop. And so I would have a, uh, a loop. Um, you're gonna have to have an inner loop, right? Because every dimensional array you have to have an inner loop. Two dimensions have one inner loop. So an outer loop and an inner loop, a nested loop, I should say. And you go through your first array, you start at the year. And so let me go through my tips, actually. I think I put this in the tips. But this is the output. You can format it any way you want. But what I'm seeing here, again, is yearly rainfall, yearly average, and then monthly averages. So you want to first, you want to initialize your 2D array with hard-coded rainfall amounts. We know how to initialize an array. Uh, for a 2D array, you can um, initialize rows. So you can have brackets inside of the brackets to represent each row. And each row has 12 columns, so you would have 12 values, 12 floating point values. And then you separate each row uh, by commas, and you just create new brackets. We should know how to do that. And then again, just a reminder, to iterate through a t-dimensional array, you're going to have to have a nested loop, basically one inner loop. If it was a 3D array, you'd have to have two inner loops. The key to this solution will be to visualize a 2D array and understand how to iterate through one via nested loop. If you know how to iterate through a nested array or a 2D array, you're going to be fine. As you are iterating, you can keep a running total, which is our first set of loops. An outer loop will iterate by the year, and the inner loop will iterate by the month, and you can keep a running total to get the total rainfall for all years. So your first goal should be to just get that total rainfall for all years. And as you're getting the total rainfall, you can just print out the yearly total as well. Then, after you're out that loop, you can print out the, the uh, yearly average. Then you're going to need another loop to display the monthly average. And to display the monthly average, um, you want to 
have a loop that goes has an outer loop for each month and the inner loop goes through each year. All right, and this will give you average, I think this will give you um, monthly average. I may have may have a miss. This will give you the monthly averages. So the yearly ones can be in that first loop and the monthly will be in the second. So that should say to get the to get the monthly average rainfalls. So you're going to learn all about initializing arrays. You're going to initialize, understand how to iterate through a two-dimensional array. A lot of important concepts here. Good luck, and I'll provide a solution in the next lecture. Thank you.